Welcome back NYC fragrance family, Joe with another video. Today, I'm gonna to give you five fragrances that I've been reaching for, or at least I keep reaching for. Now, I'm, there's a mishmash here. They're not all niche, they're not all designers. I actually, there are no niche, sorry. There is a fragrance inspired by a niche fragrance. So, we'll start with that one. And that fragrance is from Genre Parfums, and it is Seed of Eden. You see that? This fragrance here is inspired by Byredo's Pulp. What you get here is a melange of fruit. But I get this, there is no bell pepper or pepper in the fragrance as far as I know. But for some reason I always get this like hint or smell of bell pepper. I don't know what does that. But you have fig and black currant and apple and bergamot, which is the melange of fruit in this fragrance. And that's what you get mostly in the opening. And this one here is a beast of a fragrance. Beast. It lasts and lasts and lasts for a fruity fragrance. This is a strong one. I recommend this for summertime nights mostly. I did wear it during the day. You know, I was out on a boat, out on the water where you in the wide open. It works great and you have something that stays with you and it's a good smelling fragrance. I really enjoy this one, I can't recommend it enough. You know, Byredo's are very expensive fragrances. This here is coming in at $25 for this 30 ml. When, you know, Devin opens up sales for Genre and you're in the Facebook group that Genre performs neighborhood, you can get these fragrances. And I suggest trying them all out. He has really good quality at really good prices. The next one is discontinued or being discontinued, but I still see it out there. And I keep going back to it because I just love the combination of notes. I notice some people that are detractors of the fragrance, but I'm on team, I'm on its team. And it is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. See that? I just love the grapefruit, almond, powdery combination that you get from this fragrance and the levels show you know this is my 50 ml I do have 100 ml because it's being discontinued and I really like the scent I don't want to see it go and I'm wasting sprays there so they got some in my eye anyway that open I just that spray in the air right now it's fantastic I, I love it you know there's some people calling this air freshener if you want to waste a bottle of this as air freshener go right ahead me I'm going to wear it I'm going to enjoy it. Moderation, you know, it's not a super performing fragrance, but it's still, in my opinion, a really well done Guerlain. And Guerlain, in my opinion, makes really, really, really good fragrances. I have pretty much the whole EDL line and every single one of them is very pleasing to me. I can't find one that I say, uh, this is disgusting, I wouldn't wear it. No, I, I actually enjoy all of them. I enjoy sport, I enjoy cool, I enjoy Cologne, obviously. I enjoy the EDP, the EDT, pretty much all of them. The Intense is probably my favorite, but you know, this one right now, this time of year, this is one that I'm reaching for. I love wearing this one. I wear this one to work. It's sad that they had to discontinue it, but Cool is supposed to be its replacement or Cool is the fragrance that they still have out there. And it's not such a bad fragrance. I actually do enjoy Cool as well. There's differentiation because that has the minty quality to it, which this does not. But all in all, that's a nice wear as well. But Guerlain Lomi Dial Cologne. The next one I've just recently got, but I keep reaching for it. The reviews were not off. I saw a lot of positive reviews, a lot of people making this in their summer lists. And it deserves to be there. And it's Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. A little bit of a theme here back-to-back -back cologne fragrances you know this one here bergamot the lemon the iris and then the herbal note from the rosemary it's a really nice fragrance again this room right now is starting to smell really good that was yeah see that iris and citrus combination just makes it so eloquent like it has a cleanliness to it that just makes it clean fresh exciting for me you know another 
another work fragrance as far as I'm concerned in the summertime, without a doubt. You are not gonna bother anybody wearing this anywhere you go. It's clean, it's fresh, bright citrus, and they are, get, they are getting discounted now, so not a bad value. This 100 ml, I believe I paid around $40 for it. Great, great price as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna try to find a link again, see if I can get that link and share it with you guys. The next one, I did a review on this one. It's been on my list and it was on my summer list and it is Prada Loam Low. That's the one with the blue back, the light, lightish blue back. This fragrance here is another office fragrance, office daily wear. That's fantastic. You know, ginger, iris, and neroli. Makes a great, clean, soapy, fresh combination. I, I like this more than the original Prada Loam. I think that addition of the ginger just makes it something a little bit more special. I think it makes it just a little more interesting. You know, the whole line in itself is about fresh and clean. You know, the intense gives you a little bit more oomph. This one, to me, that ginger added in to the original DNA just makes it that much better for me. Last one I'm gonna talk about. This line has gotten a lot of play in videos lately. People have been talking about the line. I now own four out of the five, I believe it's five, that came out in the Sensual Blends line. And it's from the House of Azaro, and it's Hot Pepper. Most reviewers are talking about Ginger Lover and Wild Mint as being their favorite. Me, personally, I don't know what it is, but I really like Hot Pepper. It's simple, it's a simple fragrance. It's got chili pepper, pink pepper, and cashmere in. Now, Pink Pepper, I was in a recent perfume blending class. Not recent, because we haven't been able to do anything. I would say early in the beginning of the year, there was a blending class that I attended. I got to smell Pink Pepper as its own, on its own, the essential oil or what the perfumer used for his fragrances. And I discovered that I really liked that note. I loved the smell of it. At least the one that he had, it smelled really good. And this one here, you know, I find it as simple as it is, and I guess simplicity is always a good thing if you can get it to work right. Three notes, blended together, simple but elegant. Again, this is a summer, summer nighttime fragrance. It's not a fragrance that you're gonna rock during the day, but if you want to, you do what you want. It's not so overpowering and so loud that you can't wear it during the day. I just think you should control your sprays. If you're gonna wear it during the day, I'd suggest if you're out and about, not in a closed environment, because it's probably not the best idea. Definitely though, for nighttime, date, time, for date night fragrance, home run, I, I think. I mean, listen, everybody's got their own opinions. Ginger Lover may be your thing. Wild Mint might be your thing. For me, it's hot pepper. But I do enjoy those other two as well, don't get me wrong. I also enjoy Amber Lover. The only one I don't have is the leather one. I'm contemplating whether to get it just to complete the set, because they are really cheap. So, so far I have not been disappointed by any of these fragrances. They're not, you know, the purest of materials. For those people out there, they're gonna come in and start talking about synthetics and these fragrances aren't that great. If you're into niche, this was probably not the video for you. If you're complaining about synthetics, then this is probably not the video for you. If you just want to hear what I'm reaching for and I'm sharing something that I am doing as of late, and you're a subscriber and want to hear about it, then this video is for you. Otherwise, skip to the next one. Find another video. Find another channel. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting out content that I believe in and that I like to do. I'm not here to cater to the negativity. Plain and simple. So, new viewers, thank you for stopping by. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances family. And my NYC Fragrance family, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys supporting me. Please leave comments below so we can chat back and forth. And 
a little thumbs up maybe. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day.